Something really unusual happened in this Red Dead Online's monthly event. As you already know, Halloween Pass 2 ended on the 1st of November, which is not unusual, but it was removed from the game and replaced by nothing. And this actually happens for the first time ever in Red Dead Online. You see, previously when some Outlaw Pass or let's say Quick Draw Club expired, it still stayed in the game. It was impossible to level it up and unlock rewards after it ended, but you still could found it in a benefits or progress section of the menu. For example, this I recorded on September 2022. Halloween Pass 2 ended almost a year ago and was not added to Red Dead Online again, because it happened in October. So it says that it's closed, but I can see all the information about this pass, all the rewards. In description I can even see when it ended, why it used to work like this. Well, usually because previously there were no gaps between Outlaw Passes. For example, Outlaw Pass 4 ended on March 15 and next day Outlaw Pass 5 was added. But occasionally there was some time between Outlaw Passes. For example, when Outlaw Pass 5 ended, for like a month there was nothing until Quick Draw Club was introduced to Red Dead Online. But in this case, information about previous Outlaw Pass, the ones that ended, was basically just holding a place. Because if you will remove it completely, you have to rework how progress and benefit section look, otherwise there will be pretty ugly empty space. Just like it happens now, because take a look, there should be an information about Outlaw Pass, but instead there is nothing. If you will click on details, you will see that it's definitely bugged, because there are hundreds and hundreds of levels, and even more, there are negative levels levels, and information about the pass is empty. Which is kinda interesting, on Social Club account nothing changed, you still can see the information about previous Outlaw Pass. But in the game it looks like this, and they definitely changed it, because I repeat, previously always it worked differently. I also don't think that it's a random bug, so what could it be, why have they changed it? I have a few theories here, first of all, maybe Rockstar decided to remove Outlaw Pass system completely from Red Dead Online. There will be no new Outlaw Passes, which is kind of obvious, but there also will be no returning Outlaw Passes in this game. So they just removed this information and kind of forgot to, you know, change benefit and progress section. And when they will change it, there will be no reminders about Outlaw Pass system in Red Dead Online client anymore. But you might ask, why would Rockstar do it? After all, Retuning all the outlaw passes is like an easy money for them. There is nothing you should do, and some people will buy gold to purchase these outlaw passes. Well, maybe they want to earn more money. For example, they added Halloween Pass 2 as a test, and they saw that not too many beginners are buying gold bars to purchase it. And in this case, they might decide to change their approach and replace outlaw pass system with some paid subscription system, you know, like Red Dead Online Plus, equivalent of GTA Plus. So you pay real life money every month and receive some bonuses and unique rewards. And the easiest way to add some unique rewards is to take these unique rewards from previous Outlaw Passes and add them to this subscription. I'm talking about horse masks, some unique cosmetics and stuff like that. And please don't tell me in the comments that no one will pay real life money for something like that. I'm pretty sure that a lot of Red Dead Online players will purchase such subscription, especially since we know that people are buying GTA Plus, according to Take 2 it sells well, and it's not even offering anything special. Anyway, in this case Rockstar would probably remove all the reminders of an old outlaw system from the game. Also it's possible that Rockstar is not planning to bring back any outlaw passes for a long time. Who knows, maybe their plan is to wait until the next October of 2023 and then bring back Halloween Pass 2 to the game again. And for many players it will
will be like a completely new content. You might say that it's an extremely lazy plan, but it's exactly what happened this year. Like previous pass was Halloween Pass 2 in October of 2021, and next pass was also Halloween Pass 2. So removing information about the last outlaw pass from the game will help them to fool some beginners in 2023 and make it look like it's a new content. Now the last theory is more optimistic. Information about previous outlaw passes disappeared because Rockstar is making changes to the existing previous outlaw passes to bring them back. Because for example let's take a look at outlaw pass 4. Why outlaw pass 4? Well because it was added in December, it has a lot of winter clothing including this jacket that looks like Christmas. And if Rockstar will decide to bring back some of the old outlaw passes this December, outlaw pass 4 will be the best choice in my opinion. However, if Rockstar will bring it back, I'm pretty sure they would change some of the rewards in this outlaw pass. Because first of all, it was giving you pretty much all the gold back. So price was 40 gold bars, 35 with a discount, and by unlocking all the levels you were getting back 30 gold bars. So it was a really good offer, but I'm not quite sure if Rockstar were making a lot of real life money. And I guess they learned their mistake. After all, only Outlaw Pass that they brought back so far was Halloween Pass 2. And you know what's special about this Outlaw Pass? It was not giving back any gold. Additionally, there were a lot of pretty valuable rewards in Outlaw Pass 4. Different ammo pouch upgrades that were increasing amount of regular ammo for different weapons that you can carry with you. Now you can buy them as a pamphlets from fans, but they are pretty expensive. Also wilderness camp fast travel ability, pretty useful stuff that now you can purchase from the fans, but again it's super expensive. Anyway, my point is that beginners would love to buy Outlaw Pass 4 even if it's not bringing back any gold bars because of unique cosmetics and this really expensive, almost unachievable for beginners pamphlets that will be included in Outlaw Pass 4. And it means that if Rockstar will decide to bring back Outlaw Passes, which again I repeat looks like an easy money for them, they will probably remove return of the gold bars just you know to make extra money. Anyway, if this theory is correct, benefits and progress section will not look like that for too long. And in December we will see some returning Outlaw Pass here. I repeat my bet that it's gonna be Outlaw Pass 4 because it has Christmas vibes and also it offers some pretty good value. By the way, don't expect some brand new Outlaw Pass, at least this year, because according to SteamDB, Rockstar is not working on anything in Red Dead Online and no information about something like Outlaw Pass 6 was found in a game files, so there will be no new Outlaw Pass. So unfortunately best players can hope for is some old Outlaw passes returning to Red Dead Online. Anyway, let me know in the comments what do you think, why this information about previous Outlaw Pass disappeared from the game for the first time ever, I repeat. And I hope that you enjoyed this video, stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.